Uh, really proud of the effort of our guys. I thought it was one of our more complete games. Um, you know, our guys with, you know, we, I, I was really concerned how much we'd have in us. Um, yesterday at practice, uh, well, I would definitely wouldn't call it a practice. We didn't do anything, but they, um, they were tired. Uh, we were very, we didn't get back in here until about a little after 11 Saturday night after a really physical game against Texas on Saturday, extremely physical game. And, um, but our guys, you know, they, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we basically played seven guys, uh, show some resiliency. They, you know, uh, they, what I was proud of, they picked up the game plan very, very quickly. And we did a few things, switching wise and things, uh, that uh, we were wondering if they could pick up in one day. And they did a good job of that. And, and we competed on the glass. That was the key for it. We competed. We didn't win it or anything, but we competed. And that's what we've been talking about a little bit, because we have a tremendous amount of respect. Uh, Try to convince. I, I, I told our guys last yesterday and today again just how good this Oklahoma team is and how much confidence they're playing in. I know that they started the league out 0-2, but I don't think that, that bothered them a whole lot. Uh, you know, they came into the league play with an incredible amount of confidence, rebound the ball, 12th best offensive rebounding team in the country, um, and everybody kind of knows our woes on the glass. Um, so I thought we competed, and uh, that was a good sign. Um, and we wanted to guard the three-point line, and uh, for the most part, we did that. For the most part, we did a great job guarding the three-point line. Is this a new role for LeBron, or uh, how do you? Uh, he, had a, he had a very good night. He did. did. Things differently? No, well, we're we're trying to get him in better spots to score. We're trying to create. You know, coming out of the Texas game, our spacing was terrible. We worked on that a little bit yesterday and showed him on film. Spacing is really bad, and um, you know. We're wanting to try to get him in some situations where you know he, he can take guys one on one, and he's getting better. Um, you know, it's just a process with LeBron, but a lot of it. You know, we started the year thinking he was a low, going to be the low post scorer for us, and that's what we tried to do for about six, seven games, and that just um, and I told him that that's just wasn't it's not his strength. Not that he can't do it. I told him I don't want to lose Dex. I think he can do that eventually. But, um, you know, he's a little bit better on the perimeter, um, and we're just trying to get him in better spots. And he's playing with a, at a different gears. First eight, nine games of the year, whatever it was, he wasn't playing in different gears. It was just kind of one gear. And now he's starting to play in different gears, as we as kind of how we describe it to him. Um, you know, he, he's got to be able to turn it on. His personality is not going to be turn it on all the time, every second of every minute, but he can pick and choose and decide, you know, and, and, and when we need him to turn it on to make a play, he needs to do that. And he, he's done that. He did it today, and he's done it a few times against Texas, and he's just getting a little bit better. Chuck, it seems like if he wants to take the guy one-on-one and he has that matchup, he can take this by anybody. Do you ever want to sort of grab him, tell him, get, get to the hole, you've got that ability? Yeah, I tell him that a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, then he'll say, Coach, I can shoot the three, though, you know. And he can, and it's just a you know big thing for LeBron is his biggest struggle as early was all the things that was so easy for him in high school just didn't come that just the way he scored he's he's you know it just didn't come that easy and um, and it was really nothing against him it was more we were saying right, we need you to score 20 points a game from day one LeBron go do it and it's like he had, didn't have a whole lot of help besides Keaton and uh, but now the whole team Brian Williams is helping. A lot, um, you know. Michael Collins is helping a lot. Um, Mike Collins may not be scoring a lot, and I think he had nine tonight. But he's doing a lot to help our offense. Keaton Page, obviously, and you know, some of the guys are starting to chip in and do some things, which which helps him a lot, and is going to help Keaton a lot. But uh, it's a working problem. But yeah, we we'd rather him. We like it when he puts the ball on the floor. Yeah. I, I, I liked his gears that he played. I liked I liked that he decided to turn it up couple times when he almost like, you know, we were telling sometimes telling him, you need to get mad at someone, you need to play a little angry at times and it needs to, you know, in a positive way. And you, you know, guys aren't just gonna let you drive to the back. You're gonna have to desert you're gonna have to create that shot. You're gonna have to play through contact and show your athleticism. We've been talking to him about show your athleticism. You know, uh Keaton Page was joking the other day, he was like, Coach, what didn't LeBron Nash win the McDonald's dunk contest? How'd that ha you know what? How'd that happen? <laughs> you know, we give him grief because he hasn't been showing his athleticism at all. And tonight he went in and tried to dunk one that I don't know what he was trying to do. But uh, um, 
But at least he did what he kind of looked at me and said, hey, that's what you've been telling me to do. So, man, we'll take it. We'll take it. Would it be fair to say your team's more aggressive on both ends? It was. It's, all, it's really what all we talked about before the game. Because one thing I've been studying in Oklahoma, and I just thought, above all, I'm trying to describe, you know, what the, I just thought they were very, I think they're a very physical basketball team. I think they're a, a, a team that, uh, you know, when you talk about rebounding, they're one of the best rebounding teams in the league. And we just challenged our guys to be much more aggressive than, than we have been. Um, it's a fine line because we only have basically eight guys. And, uh, you know, the Texas uh, foul trouble just really hurt us. I mean, we were right in the game to the end. And uh, foul trouble just really hurt us. So, you know, we, but we can't take off our aggressiveness. One game we kind of had the game plan of, we didn't use other words salt, but not be as aggressive with like an Alabama game, and our guys didn't respond to that at all. So we need to we need to continue with the mindset of tough, aggressive defense, and our defense has been been pretty good, pretty consistent. Look at that. Oklahoma just shoots 30, 31 percent. Oklahoma just shoots 32 percent. What is it that's allowing you guys? Well, you know, we've got pretty good perimeter defense. You know, LeBron, uh, uh, Brian Williams is really playing great defense for us. And Markel Brown is, I believe, a guy that we – he's a stopper. I think, you know, his strength is defense. Um, and then you got Phillip in there that can uh, – that can, you know, protect the basket a little bit. Michael Cobbins is protecting the basket a little bit. And Keaton Page, I tell you, has been one of the most steadiest defenders. You know, he's had some tough jobs of lately, you know, from, uh, you know, Cabongo to – you know, to, tonight, uh, you know, some good players, and uh, he's been good for us. But no, it's something we, you know, we do. We take a lot of pride in. You know, uh, in the past, it's got overlooked, uh, but it's not now because we can't score. So, you know, everybody used to think all I did was offense, and you know, my teams have always scored a whole lot of points, and everybody, that's all they used to think about. But people who know us, we spend probably 70% of our time, 80% of our time on defense every day, and our offense shows that at this point. So. <laughs> Well, it's something that uh, I decided to do a long time ago between me and my wife, really. And I mentioned it to her to, you know, I was trying to, a way just to honor Kurt Bucky. And uh, I always thought it was kind of neat that he did it on Bad Um I kind of thought about it in years past. And I said, you know, and um, it was kind of his thing. And, you know, so I was just one way, I, you know, we uh, kept it kind of under wraps. and. Um, it's just, you know, I wanted to uh, just honor him by it. And I, I brought, uh, you know, um, I had one of our managers bring in after five minutes ago before the game. Uh, I had my manager bring in the jacket and uh, told our guys, you know, I'm going to wear this jacket in honor of Kurt Bucky tonight. Uh, he wore this jacket on Bedlam. The first time he ever wore it is they upset OU here when they were ranked six in America in front of a sellout crowd. Um, now let's go represent that in the right way. And then we gave, uh, we brought Shelly Bucky in after the, um, in the locker room within the game and gave her the game ball. So, but it was in honor of him. So Travis, is that the jacket? No, this is not his jacket. Yeah, no. You know, I, I would better swallow me. Yeah, it would swallow me. Will it be making an appearance in Norman? Well, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I, don't, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. So, we'll see. You're not. That's a couple people asked me that though. The last couple of minutes. But I don't know. Um, you have a tailor, don't you? Excuse me. Don't you have a Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> It's actually Larry Reese's jacket. So. <laughs> <laughs> crucial, uh, crucial. I, you know, um, we talked to our team about Bedlam yesterday. You know, and, and it, it, it's a fine line, but it, it is. I told them, you know, guys, this is. Another game we need to win, but yes, it's uh, it, it's an exciting game. These are bedlam games, and it's no different when I played at Kentucky. You remember the Louisville games, the things you know, things you remember 20 years from now are the bedlam games. Uh, that's what you really remember, are big games like this. But I told them, you know, bedlam is so much about the fans. And, you know, our players, you know, um, especially our young guys, didn't know a whole lot about it. Actually, Brian yesterday asked me, "What does bedlam mean, Coach?" You know, at the end of practice, "What's bedlam mean?" And uh, Keaton quickly spoke up and said, chaos. I said, chaos, OK, well, that's, that's good. And uh, so, but we did talk to them, make them understand the mindset of this game. Um, does this win mean any more in the comp? No, you know, but it's, it's, it's a fun, exciting game every year. It'll be exciting down there. Uh, as I told them, it doesn't matter whether it's basketball, football, soccer, wrestling, baseball. Bedlam is a big deal. Bedlam's a fun deal. Um, 
and uh, it's something that uh, they'll they'll enjoy more as they get a little bit older because they don't really understand. I think they get a little bit understanding today, but we try to hype them up a little bit about it and prepare them a little bit and talk to talk to them about it. Hey, you know, Brian Williams, is, I'm very, very high on Brian Williams. I have been for a long time. And I was, early in the year when he wasn't playing, I was agonizing over figuring out how to get him minutes and knew I probably should. But things have a strange way of working itself out. And um, um, he's a guy who uh, I'm just really, he can do so many different things to help us. And he just, I think he's just scratched the surface of what he's going to be able to do. And uh, I think he's going to be a special player, really special player. All things considered, early kick time. Big football game on TV. Now. Big I thought it was great. I thought it was really, they got loud when we needed them. I thought the students showed that's what I was, you know, the end zones are really crucial to us. And, uh, you know, that's uh, that's important. And uh, our students really showed up, the, you know, fans showed up. And uh, it meant a lot to us. I, I thought they might, you know, I know we haven't been playing the best, but uh, I think everybody I see appreciates how hard these guys are playing and understands that we're. You know, where you've got seven, eight guys, seven, eight good guys, seven, eight guys that are going to wear the uniform proudly and that we can go to battle with. And um, this team uh, has been through some adversity. And uh, but these are the guys. These are and JP is part of. But these are the guys that uh, uh, are going to play hard for you. And I know it's early, but it doesn't get easier when you go to uh, wake up. No, no, we're going to need all these days. Uh, I'm going to give them a couple of days off, uh, but we're going to need all the days we can to prepare. You know, Baylor's. You know, maybe the most talented team in the country, if not, and definitely the biggest, strongest, most physical, athletic team in the country, without question. Um, you know, Scott's doing a really good job with those guys, and you know, we'll take our uh, we'll take our our youngsters down there and see or, and see what happens. But uh, um, yeah, they're going to have to be prepared for it because this is a good Baylor team, very, very good. Thanks, guys. Uh, being aggressive, you know, uh, my coach uh, told me I need to get more aggressive on the ball. I mean, on, on in the game, you know, scoring in, uh, rebounding the ball, you know, this will be a big game for us, you know. It's Bellum, you know, it's a rivalry, so, you know, I just try to do what my team needs me to do, and that's um, scoring the ball, you know, helping Keaton out, and helping all my teammates be a better, um, be better on offense. And. Felt like you passed a lot better tonight too. Did you feel a little more You know, I'm, I'm playing on the perimeter more, so you know. Uh, it's getting me more time to uh, play more, um, more of my game. You know, I, I can pass the ball well, and um, you know, all my teammates know that. So when I got the ball, they, they know I can pass it to them if they open. So, you know, I just try to get um, the teammates right, the ball in the right spots and hit shots because the offense was the big key for us today. Keaton, how did you just see the game overall for your general thoughts? Yeah, I felt uh, I felt like we played hard tonight. We fought hard, and uh, we know uh, we know our half court defense is going to be our identity. And I felt like uh, even at, even at Texas when we, uh, we suffered the loss, I felt like uh, I felt like our half court defense was great that game. And we know uh, we know our offense uh, we know our offense is going to come to us. But uh, tonight we just uh, we stepped up. We had a four switch defense tonight, and I felt like it caused them caused them a little bit of trouble on the offensive end. Uh, we gave up too many offensive rebounds. We knew coming into the game they're a great offensive rebounding team. And uh, we struggled again tonight, and that's something we're going to have to continue to get better. But uh, overall, our guys fought hard tonight and uh, made big plays when we needed them. You're one of the only guys with more than a few games with experience. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we talked to we talked to the guys that have experience, Markel's experience, Bedlam, and uh, even though Mike Cobbs and Brian didn't get to play last year, they they got to see what Bedlam was like. And uh, we explained to our guys it's a different type of game tonight. Uh, it's a big time game for us, and. Uh, we had to make. Uh, we talked about we're going to have to make big plays to win this game, and that's something we did tonight. LB stepped up, made some huge, made some huge buckets for us. Brian Williams played tremendous. Mike Collins went to the glass really well tonight and got some uh, big uh, late shots that we needed. And uh, like I said, uh, we just made big plays when we needed them tonight. Did either of you sense Oklahoma becoming frustrated just the longer it went and not being able to pull back to even that you know that they just sort of lost it up there on the court? Maybe. Yeah, I think so because I had court defense so good, you know, right now. Um, then we get teams frustrated, you know, because we, we really, uh, we really identified by half court defense, so they couldn't get nothing off. They were taking bad shots, and you know, we was um, capitalizing off of them. So it was a great thing for them to get frustrated and make us, you know, make us come together more, because we seen them frustrated and made us, you know, happy that they um, getting out their game. Maybe better than you have all season. There's a lot of cutting to the basket, a lot of good movement on offense. 
something you guys have been working on for a couple of weeks? Or? Yeah, well, actually, not even a couple of weeks. Uh, Coach Ford was uh, he was uh, kind of upset with our spacing and our movement against the Texas game. Uh, so yesterday we got in there, and, uh, and today even uh, we just worked on our spacing, worked with cutting off the ball and uh, going to screen for guys off the ball and just trying to get more movement because we were too stagnant against Texas. So that's something uh, he, he put in yesterday and uh, something our guys uh, took in well tonight, and everybody was cutting well. B-Wheel got a couple back doors, and LB got a couple, and guys were moving great without the ball tonight. Yeah, he is. Uh, one thing about Brian is uh, he's since since day one he stepped on his campus. He's uh, he just is a workhorse. He just works extremely hard. He knows that's one thing he can rely on at all times. If his jumper's not falling, maybe he's not grabbing a couple rebounds. He knows he's going to work hard. And uh, the last, I mean, since he since he started playing this year, uh, that's what he's done. He's just relied on just, just just working and working and working. His game's been coming to him, so he knows he knows no matter what he's going to work hard. He's going to be in the right spots at the right time. He's making huge plays for us right now. Hey Keaton, you think you're pre-conference schedule, which was pretty difficult. Is that kind of helping you guys through these early big Definitely. I definitely think it has. Uh, coaches, that's something he's told us uh, since since before we even started, since we started season. He's told us that our our season, uh, a lot of a lot of teams like to call them cupcake, cupcake teams. He told us we weren't going to have any of those. And uh, I think that's the Alabamas, the Virginia New Techs, and uh, Stanford, those type of teams has uh, really prepared us well for the Big 12. Brian, after you had four point game against Virginia Tech, you've double digits the last three in all conference games. Do you feel like you're hitting more of a stride at the comfort zone for you a little bit? Uh, yes, I'm getting more aggressive. Um, I know uh, I'm a good scorer, so I just try to help this team out uh, uh, all I can do. You know, my jump shot coming back to me, you know, and working on that well. I think I'm just playing on the perimeter more, you know, um, more more, and just giving me around the court, just that on the post all the time. I think Coach Ford identified that I can play all around the court, so he's just trying to use me in a different spot and try to give me the best opportunity I can to score for this team. Last question, and if you guys still need the players, we're going to stop them right outside here, but we have to figure outside. Have a last question. Can you just talk about the guy performance probably the best all around game compared to the Yeah, I mean, he said it well. He's uh, just being aggressive. He's tacking on both ends tonight. Uh, he was coming up with loose balls on the defensive end and on the offensive end. Uh, like he said, he was just being aggressive, going towards the hole, and then when he was drawing attention, he was finding the open guys and uh, worked out well for us tonight. LeBron played good. Thanks, guys. Right, Nathan. Thank you.